topic may or may not be controversial, but I have a really good feeling that it will be. Today's topic obviously is going to be about my personal opinions and thoughts on the best first three mods to your car. Now, this all kind of varies from car to car, but generally I think this is a pretty safe rule, so I'm going to I'm going to apply it to all cars. I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm going to say that I think the third best thing you can get for your car when it's completely stock is a new set of wheels. Now, when I say this, I I'm kind of referring to like like the rim and tire itself because typically at least in my mind I imagine that when you get aftermarket rims they're wider and different specs than your stock ones therefore you're running different tires on there usually sorry I have a radar now it's gonna maybe going off on video regardless when you get uh, when you upgrade the different tires you typically buy stickier ones so that's my third one is I think tires and rims because then you get better grip which allows you to do turning and better handling and more grip because that's always fun. Now currently on my car, I'm running 9.5s, 18 inch with 38 offset with Super Sports and it's amazing. Obviously grip is better and obviously the bigger tires you have, the more grip you're going to have so that definitely finds the, its way as number three on the list. The second thing on this list is going to be suspension. Now, whether you want to take this as coils or you want to take this as springs, that is up to you. Shut up. And the reason why I say suspension is because it not only changes the appearance of the car, making it look lower or, I mean, I guess higher if that's really what you're into, but you get better handling and performance out of the car and that's always a plus. And personally for that, for me, that definitely finds its way at number two on this list because I drive for BRZ, which is all about handling. So obviously I have a soft spot for handling and all that good stuff. And a car always looks good when it's sitting low and pretty. The number one spot should come to no surprise because a lot of you guys know that I love the way a car sound. So that finds exhaust being the number one thing for a first mod. I say exhaust because to me, the way your car sounds is kind of like the personality of your car. And there's so many different exhausts out there for all different types of cars that can give it different tones, different pitches, and it can just make it more aggressive in person or you can have it be a little more subdued. There's a whole different varieties out there of what you can go for. And there's nothing worse than having a car that is like a sporty car that is quiet. For example, the BRZ with the stock exhaust is extremely quiet. So the first one I did to this car was change that. Now, not only does exhaust make a car sound completely mad, it does, by the book, add horsepower. Now, are you really gonna feel that? Chances are no, it's very minuscule. All cars have different gains with exhaust systems and whatnot, but for the most part, an exhaust does not make a car that much faster. It increases the flow of air, but I don't really know. I, it, you don't, you won't notice anything from exhaust. From a cat back exhaust, a header, a header system is a little different, but I'm talking about uh, a cat back system, which yeah, you're not really gonna get much performance out of that. All right guys, well that's pretty much gonna sum it up for this little quick video that I wanted to do. If you're watching this today that it came out, I am currently at SEMA, which is in Las Vegas. So I don't know if we're gonna have a video for Friday or whatnot. I'm not too sure how it's gonna work yet, but I'm currently right now driving to go get some E85. That's what this thing is for, uh, for the trip, because I think I'm gonna have someone review the car roll up there, and I'm definitely gonna want that on the E85. I'm trying to put together a little meetup while we're in Vegas. Now, if you wanna be up to date on what's going on, be sure to follow all the social medias on the screen because the information will be spread through there before it hits YouTube. So I just want to let that be known. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Check out this premium condensation. As much as this is a good thing, we're going to change it out. Here we have the new Tom's tail light. This is essentially Miley's new booty cheek. Let's go install it. such a big loogie that's so gross this number one should come to the number one spot should come to gnosis fuck can't speak the number one spot should fall oh my god the number one spot the number one spot holy fuck